Hi, my name is Dr. Ho. I am an assistant professor at Weber State University. I'm here to talk to you about the energy engineering program. So what is energy engineering? Energy engineering focuses on finding the best ways to produce, use, and save energy. Energy can come from many sources, such as solar, wind, geothermal, and hydropower, as well as the more traditional sources, such as oil and gas. The Energy Engineering program at Weber State teaches you all aspects of energy engineering. We'll teach you how to design energy systems for certain usage. You'll learn how to account for energy usage, how intense that usage is during various time of the day, and how best to make it efficient for the future. At Weber State, our university has a goal to reach carbon neutral by 2040. Weber State leadership has been developing energy smart buildings here on campus, where the energy usage is state of the art. We have won many national and local awards for our smart buildings. These energy smart buildings are part of the energy engineering program so students can see firsthand what it means to be an energy engineer. I decided to get into energy engineering because I kind of saw a little bit of a need for it. I saw the world kind of shifting towards that in terms of like electrification and energy efficient systems. And I wanted to be part of that change and I wanted to be and kind of join that, that need and be hopefully be part of the solution as well. The instructors here are some of the top in the state for what they do. It's just first-hand experience from the instructors and, and the technology, and you're very involved with all of it. Some of my favorite things about the energy engineering degree is just how well it's integrated into the, the campus. Weber State has a really amazing energy management program. They do really good about incorporating energy projects here. So they've got really good infrastructure, some of the, like, the buildings here and some of the technologies. I feel like they're kind of pioneering some of the newer stuff. So I love learning energy engineering here at Weber because of how they've built their buildings. They've built it to learn energy engineering. They've left the ceilings exposed so you can understand the systems and see them where you don't normally get that opportunity to have, and I don't think you'll find that in a lot of other places. If I wanna go look at a new, the newest technology, the heat pumps or ERVs, things like that, I, we take classes and we can walk through and tour these mechanical rooms and see these high-tech systems. I'm proud to say that these buildings are like living labs for our students. We have lots of sensors and measurements to see live data on how much energy is being used in every single building on campus. We have these smart energy systems to teach you how to design an efficient energy system. So I think energy engineering is definitely going to expand. Um, I've seen a lot of growth in already existing systems. Being in energy engineering world, it kind of puts you at the front of always looking for the next best thing of how do we get the most efficiency out of this. More and more solar arrays are being built, more windmills are being built, and the world's kind of shifting towards that almost free energy type idea. And so that's really cool to help integrate those more efficiently into the, today's grid. Data has indicated that to have a nation with high quality of life, we need to have a lot of energy. There's no such thing as a poor energy, high quality of life country. If you want to find more about energy engineering, please go to our website at weaver.edu.